Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. There could be some unexpected plot twists in the future, as suggested by Cody's cathartic confession to Sasha inspires him to tell Mac Paternity Truth General Hospital. Despite having an unidentified link to Cody Bell, Josh Kelly, Mac Scorpio, John J. York, is currently unaware that the young man is his real son. Cody is aware that Mac is his biological father, but he has kept this a secret since he sought ownership of the Ice Princess jewelry. He had to pose as Leopold Tobb's son to pull this off. Mac thinks Cody needs watching over due of his relationship with Dominique Baldwin. But there's a lot more going on here. Cody just revealed to Sasha Gilmore how he knew Dr. Monty and Gladys Corbin, Bonnie Burroughs, were giving her drugs. She was also informed of his relationship with Selena Wu and their agreement to play a game of chance at the Savoy. After Cody revealed the truth, Sasha was extremely cautious about him, but who could blame her? He was the only person in her life who had supported her and gone above and above to get her away from Ferncliff. Will telling Sasha the truth encourage Cody to tell Mac the truth as well? Danny Falconeri is the only other person now aware of Cody's real father. Sam McCall will be informed, according to GH teasers, but it's unlikely that she'll rush to Mac. She may be urging Cody to approach Mac and come forward, though. Even if he lied, and not for the best reasons either. Mac will surely have a positive impression of Cody thanks to his heroic efforts with Sasha recently and James West's apparent adoration for him. Cody might also realize that telling Sasha the truth wasn't just the correct thing to do. It was also therapeutic for his spirit. Cody has always been on the wrong side of the law, but he shares the same qualities as other Port Charles residents. Looking at you, Sonny Corinthos, in that despite being a criminal, he has a decent heart. According to GA spoilers, viewers should be prepared for the unexpected. Therefore, they should watch the popular ABC soap daily to find out what happens next. Cody is guilt-tripped into telling Mac the truth by Sasha. Sasha Gilmore is the only person who could possibly guilt-trip Kobe Bell, as implied by General Hospital and rumors, into telling Mac Scorpio about their father-son relationship. Family is very important to Sasha, who has lost all of her family members despite having a large number of close friends. Cody Bell of the General Hospital lied about his and Max Scorpio's DNA test. Even though Don Falconeri is aware of it, Cody lied when asked about his and Max's DNA test when they received it at GH. When Don confronted Cody about it after discovering it on the quarter main stables floor, Cody admitted to lying to Mac. Could Sasha on General Hospital guilt trip Cody into telling Mac the truth that was when Cody was attempting to establish his ownership of the Ice Princess jewelry, which required him to be Leopold Tobbs? Although the Ice Princess jewelry has since been destroyed, it was his mother Dominique Baldwin's first husband who admitted her to Shady Brook Sanitarium. Years prior, Mac had impersonated insanity to free Dominique and save her from the evil Tob just as Cody had done with Sasha. Sasha Gilmore from GH observes Kobe Bell feeling guilty. While they're still hiding away at the cabin Sam McCall set up for them, Sasha notices that Cody is feeling guilty, and he confesses to being dishonest. Cody is mortified to admit that Sam and Dante had discussed Mac's assistance in taking down Damon Montague when Sasha questions him about why he thinks he's been dishonest. Cody becomes reflective after Sam and Dante left the cabin to try to figure out how to show Monte had been drugging Sasha, even suggesting the two of them take off together. Sasha urges Cody to explain because she doesn't want to go, but she also doesn't want to stay hidden in an old hunting cabin forever. Cody Bell of General Hospital admits. Cody finally tells Sasha the truth about deceiving Mac about the paternity test, and she makes him feel worse about it than his own mother ever could. She admonishes Cody that he should be ashamed of himself and tell Mac that he is his son because he is better than that. 
Sasha reminds Cody that even if her blood family are scarce, she would do anything to have her grandma and her young son back. She also makes reference to Brando Corbin, her late husband, and how he would have pushed Cody to confess to Mac as well. Then Sasha truly makes him pause. She threatens to inform Mac if he won't, and Cody is confident that she'll follow through on that threat. Customers, Confessions, and Disasters Tease customers, confessions, and disasters on General Hospital. Jake Spencer makes a confession, Brooke Lynn Quartermain signs her first client, and Dex Heller breaks the dreadful news of a catastrophe. Featured hospitals in general. Brooke Lynn shows up at Charlie's Pub impeccably late to meet Blaze, whom she informs that she would like to sign as her first client. Given that Brooke Lynn played a key role in assisting Blaze in removing her from their mutually perverted ex-manager Link Brown, Dan Buran, it is unimaginable that Blaze would reject the offer. Clients, confessions, and disasters from G.H. Brooke Lynn is returning to talent management and promotion after being humiliated by her own grandma. It ought to be the beginning of a fruitful business partnership and an opportunity for the two women to rekindle their friendship. One of Brooke Lynn's fondest memories was busting Link, Christina Corinthos Davis G.H. Confused. It's unclear whether Christina Corinthos Davis is speaking to her mother about Blaze or her sister, Molly Lansing Davis. Extreme fangirl of Blaze, how does Alexis Davis not desire a relationship with her? Molly wonders. Although Christina was undoubtedly impressed with Blaze, it is more likely to be related to the discord between Molly and Christina. Andrew Gates recently took a home pregnancy test, and Molly and Alexis just learned the results were positive. The sisters are still at odds over Molly and TJ Ashford's, Taj Bello, decision to not choose Christina as their surrogate. Good news from the General Hospital. To let TJ know the good news, Molly has gone over to the hospital. A home pregnancy test revealed that their surrogate was pregnant. When Andrea needed to speak with Molly immediately, she called her and told her to come to the courts. There are still nine months left, so everything is still possible. Naturally, everyone hopes there won't be and that the baby Ashford Davis will arrive in July 2024. G. E. Portia Robinson offers her regrets. Portia Robinson notices Anna Devane, who is also at the hospital, and says, Anna, wait. What possibly might Portia have to save Anna? It most certainly has something to do with Curtis Ashford's Donald Turner shooting injury at the Metro Court. After chasing Portia away from Curtis when she recently tried to visit him, Anna probably isn't in the mood to talk to her. Perhaps Portia has settled down enough to offer Anna an apology. Hospital confessions in general. Jake is also at the hospital and has a confession to make to Elizabeth Baldwin, the head nurse, Rebecca Herbst. She needs to hear from Jake about Charlotte Cassidine, he says. Perhaps because of his concern for Charlotte, Jake is observing puzzling phenomena similar to those that used to trouble him during his time on Cassidine Island. Jake may be detecting details that remind him of Helena Cassidine, but if so, did she intentionally influence him to do something risky and unethical? Find out what happens next on General Hospital by reading this. A surprise is revealed by G.H. Valentin Cassidine. Valentin Cassidine reveals a surprise while he is with Nina Reeves in another location. He assures Nina that what he has in store will let us all move on. It is Charlotte's apparent targeting of Anna and her resentment at not spending enough time with her papa. It appears that he has found a home for papa, Charlotte, and Anna. Nina, who is wise, does not believe that residing with Anna will be a good decision. Disasters at General Hospitals Dex has arrived at Pasolos to deliver devastating news to Sunny Corinthos. As Dex informs Sunny that it is serious, Sunny sweeps off his desk and will shortly rush to the hospital. Drew Kane was severely assaulted at Pentonville and taken by EMS to the hospital. The request for Drew to learn who Austin Gatlin Holt, Roger Howarth, had visited in Pentonville came from Sunny. Drew is currently battling for his life. 
Sunny Corinthos is confronted by G.H. Carly Spencer. Elizabeth informs Carly about Drew's situation at the hospital, and Carly confronts Sonny there. He promised to protect him, she says, appearing on the verge of tears. Cyrus Renault appears to be one of Sonny's duplicitous protectors inside Pentonville. The audience is aware that as soon as Cyrus overheard Drew trying to gather information, he lied to the security man Drew spoke to. And now that Drew is severely injured, Cyrus has summoned an ambulance. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.